Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to deal with transformer in magnetically coupled circuit. For that we are going to derive energy stored in a coupled coil or we can say energy stored in a transformer. Transformer is the best example for a coupled circuit. So let's start with energy stored in a coupled circuit. Here I am going to consider two coils L1 and L2 and I1 and I2 be the current passing through these two coils and here I am going to mark a dot on the entering side of coil 1 and entering side of coil 2 which means the mutual flux is aiding in nature this is a case of aiding coupling okay initially i1 and i2 are zero which means the energy stored in the circuit is zero initially now i am going to increase the value of current passing through the first coil that is I1 I am going to increase from 0 to I1 while maintaining I2 equal to 0. In this case the power in coil 1 is given by V1 into I1 and we know voltage is nothing but L1 into Di1 by Dt L1 into di1 by dt into i1 here we are not considering the power in coil 2 why why because the power associated with coil 2 is 0 as i2 equal to 0 so energy in coil 1 e1 is given by integral integral of power is nothing but energy which means here L1 is constant, I am taking out L1 into I1 into Di1 by Dt into Dt. Here differentiation and integration get cancelled each other or we can say compensate each other and I am putting the limits 0 to I1, L1, I1 into Di1 which is nothing but i1 square by 2 l1 into i1 square by 2 0 to i1 which is nothing but half l1 i1 square e1 okay equal to e1 which is equation number 1 and now m now the i1 has reached a constant value i1 and now I am going to increase the value of I2 from 0 to capital I2. Let's see. I am going to increase I2 from 0 to I2 while maintaining I1 as capital I1. Okay. In this case, a mutual voltage will be generated in coil 1 due to the change in current in coil 2. Therefore, power in the coil is equal to V2 I2 plus mutual voltage is nothing but M into Di2 by Dt into I1 ok therefore V2 is what L2 into Di2 by Dt into I2 plus M into Di2 by Dt into I1 and thus energy sorry this is not p1 p2 energy in the coil is given by integral p2 of t dt which is equal to l2 i am taking outside as this is a constant i2 di2 by dt into dt plus m as a constant um, I1 is constant because here we consider I1 as 
I1. Okay, so I am taking out I1 into integral di2 by dt into dt. Okay, so e2 is equal to here again this differentiation integration get compensated each other i2 di2 with limits 0 to i2 0 to i2 so the result is half l2 i2 square plus m into i1 into i2 which is equation number 2 thus for reaching a constant value of I1 and I2 in both the coils the energy stored energy the total energy stored is equal to E1 plus E2 which means the energy stored in a coupled circuit is equal to half L1 I1 square plus half L2 I2 square plus M into I1 I2. I think this part is clear. This is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. I am comparing these two equations to get the total energy stored in a coupled circuit and this is a case of aiding connection and the only difference with opposing connection is this plus will be replaced by minus also in opposing connection the energy stored is given by minus m i1 i2 okay for opposing connection for opposing connection and now we have to establish a limit for the value of mutual mutual inductance here comes the significance of coefficient of coupling k the energy in a coupled circuit must be positive that means energy in a perceived circuit is always positive which is we already know about that that so e is equal to half l1 i1 square plus half l2 i2 square plus m i1 into i2 here i am considering it as negative in order to show the term as positive here in aiding case this is already positive that means the whole term will be positive always but in case of here if m into i1 is greater this term the energy will be we will get as negative but since it is a passive circuit the energy stored in the coupled circuit must be positive for that e should be <coughs> greater than or equal to zero which means <coughs> half l1 i1 square plus half l2 i2 square plus m into i1 i2 sorry minus must be greater than or equal to zero in order to complete the square i am going to add and subtract i1 i2 into root l1 l2 from this equation that is i1 half square plus half l2 i2 square plus i1 i2 root l1 l2 minus i1 i2 root l1 l2 minus m into sorry minus m into i1 i2 which is greater than or equal to 
zero. And now I'm going to replace this term as half into <coughs> I1 into root L1 minus I2 into root L2 whole square. So A minus B all square A square minus 2AB plus B square. On removing this bracket we will get the same as here and this term in which I1 I2 is common I am taking it out and root of L1 L2 minus M which should be greater than or equal to 0 since it is a square term this is positive always here there is a chance of getting negative value therefore root l1 l2 minus m should be greater than or equal to 0 or we can say m should be less than or equal to root of l1 l2 that is mutual inductance m cannot be greater than the geometrical mean of self inductance of two coils l1 and l2 the extent to which mutual inductance m approaches its upper limit is specified by what coefficient of coupling k therefore which is given by m by root l1 l2 i am repeating the extent to which the mutual inductance m approaches its upper limit is specified by coefficient of coupling k therefore k can be defined as m by square root of l1 into l2 the value of k usually lies between 0 and 1 or we can say the value of mutual inductance lie between 0 and geometrical mean of L1 and L2. Okay. The value of k can be 0, 1 or the value lies in between these two. If the value of k equal to 1 then which means 100 percentage coupling or 100 percentage coupling or perfectly coupled perfectly coupled what does it mean perfectly coupled means if coil 1 produce certain magnetic flux which is all those flux will be linked with the other coil then how can we define coefficient of coupling k coefficient of coupling k can be defined as the measure of coupling between two coils measure of coupling between two coils so if k equal to 1 means the all the flux produced by coil 1 links with the coil 2 if k is less than 0.5 then we are say it as loosely coupled circuits loosely coupled circuits and if k is greater than 0.5 then we would say as tightly coupled tightly coupled circuits tightly coupled circuits and an air core transformer used in an air core transformer used in radio frequency applications are the best example for loosely coupled circuits whereas the iron core iron core transformers used in power system applications are the best app example for 
what tightly coupled circuits power system applications so i hope the coefficient of coupling k is clear to all of you so we will see the t model of transformer in the upcoming section thank you